How you doing? I'm Ezra. I'm out here having a, a great stogie. About to watch a movie on the deck with my family. And I thought I'd take a minute and tell you how to make the big time. How I made the big time. Now, it's a little bit of a joke there. Because <laughs> you probably don't know who I am. And if you do, you know I haven't made the big time. But, I, in my music career, which started when I was about 16, I've turned down or sabotaged uh, quite a few deals, more deals than most musicians see in their life that have come to me, contracts laid in front of me that I've either walked away from or in some way sabotaged. The sabotage ones were when I was younger. That's how I, I dealt with <laughs> saying no, I just sabotaged things. And the later ones though, in my later life were, you know, they weren't, you know, the huge, uh, million dollar deals or anything but they were music deals that would have changed my life they would have put me on the road and you know a lot of people would know who I am at least but I walked away from these contracts and I did it because in each instance I couldn't work out either the math of how I would take care of my family properly uh, for most during these times I was the sole supporter of my family and so I, I couldn't work out the math I couldn't figure it out with at least one of these contracts and the other one required me to be on the road and uh, I, I couldn't work out the math of how to take my family with me and so I regretted turning them down it's very hard to do but I look back now and I see that it was just the best thing I could have done because actually this this happened this weekend and it happens to me quite often and I'm not trying to say I'm any kind of big deal or anything but when I play shows you know we play in little places and we played a little festival in, in Florida last weekend that was real fun people we love we love going down there but it's it's a little festival and after I'm done playing it's it's pretty common that somebody will say how do i not know who you are how come you haven't made the big time and this week and they actually use those words and it just so happens that i have a song coming out on april 1st called big time and i had an answer ready for them this time i usually say well you know we're very happy we don't we don't know we're not looking for anything more than this and uh but i had to answer and i said we have made the big time and i meant it because, you know, what I've learned in life, I've, I've been, I'm probably a overachiever, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to an extreme probably, but not because I'm trying to make the big time. It's because I love waking up and having something to do and have a project and to have something that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do that's just, you know, on the tip of impossible for me at the point in my life I'm at. And that just sets me on fire and I love feeling like that. But, you know, <clears throat> I, uh, I realized that really all that, you know, composes the joy and the, the beauty of my life, I could have had without the music. I could have had it just working a nine to five somewhere. Uh, I could have had it in all kinds of ways. In fact, I did have it when I had no money. I did have it when we were desperate. I had this thing, this big time, which is having someone to love, to have a wife that I, I cuddle up with at night that loves me, respects me, and I respect her. To have children that consume pretty much every hour of my waking life <laughs> in my thoughts, if not in my real life. I mean, but that's beautiful. That gives me so much of that fire to wake up. I've got so much to do and so much people that are depending on me and, and people that I depend on and th that I love and that I'm looking in on and I, I care about. And so when this guy says this, you know, why haven't you made the big time? You know, <laughs> I hear this so often, like, why do you have so few followers and why, you know, why doesn't, why haven't you, you know, why aren't you on the radio or whatever? And I just have to smile because I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a question a lot of musicians not a question, but probably hear a lot of musicians probably hear that or you'll keep going, you'll, you'll do well. And for me, I'm like, man, 
you, you know, I'm not gonna sit and try to explain it to somebody, but I've made the big time. I'm still dreaming in those ancient lights. Bed and all that look in your eyes. I lay it all on the 